So, how did you get released? Huh? You know, from the hospital? Why did they suddenly let you go? Well, despite the, uh... <laughs> good efforts, my big bad brother-in-law to keep me locked up for the rest of my life. An entire squad of shrinks declared me legally sane. How about that? That's great. I mean, have you talked to Annie about being a donor? She'll come around. Sure she will. Yeah. So, I mean, are, are, are you feeling all right? I mean, do you need anything? Now, there's a loaded question. I just meant that... I know, I know, I know. You were just being polite. So, what do you think about the Phillies this year, Richie? Do you think they need more pitching? You can pitch me all the politeness you want, but the fact remains that kiss happened, and it wasn't just to congratulate me. You know it. I know it. Now let's cut the crap, and let's start talking about that. Well, you are pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? <laughs> well... I'm pretty sure when someone likes me, if that's what you mean. Look, it was never a matter of me liking you or not, Richie. Or, or even being attracted to you. So you admit that much? Look, it wouldn't matter if I was. I, I told you where I stood on this. My work and my son, those are my priorities right now. Okay. Then, uh, tell me why JR's in a towel, prancing around your apartment like he owns the place, like he owns you. I told you. Right, right, right. You and JR were gonna build a snowman, but he wants me to believe differently. Look, then that's JR's business, okay? It has nothing to do with me. He and I are little Adam's parents. And after all of the hell that we have put him through, we just want to be good parents, whether we're together or not. Good friends. Yes, yes, good friends, just like you and me. And that's all we're gonna be, Richie, so uh, you can make whatever you want to out of that kiss, but it's not gonna go any further than that. Look, I understand that this is hard for you. It's a lot for you to take in, me showing up without an expiration date. Richie. No, 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 just, just let me finish, okay? Hear me out. I was gonna die. And now there's this slight possibility that I'm not. So I'm not gonna waste any more of my time being careful and telling you what you wanna hear. I like you. I wanna be with you and more than just friends. You know me well enough by now to know that I'm not the type of guy that gives up easily. I, I think you better go now. What, do you want me to lie to you? Give you some BS about how understanding I am? I, I told you how I feel, Richie. And I'm telling you I don't believe it. Is there a problem out here? No, there's no problem. Richie was just leaving. So soon. Someone's calling for you, babe. What's the matter, Richie? You don't look too happy. Is it just me or did babe kick you to the curb? So is this the part where we duke it out? I don't think you want to go there. Tough guy, huh? Tough enough for the likes of you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I could see that. But you know what the thing is, Junior? I've been around tough guys for a long time. Some of them aren't so tough anymore. Some of them are even dead. Yeah? Is that a threat? <laughs> no, man. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Mm. I will see you around later, bro. Oh, yes. I will see you around.